He said, well, wouldn't it be better if we presented ourselves as the victims? And the problem with that is that it's what everyone else does. And it can be done because there are many white victims in this society now, in the way that it's going. But if you concentrate on pain and defeat, you will breed resentment. And I believe that resentment and pity are the things to be avoided. Fire, energy, glory, and thinking. Thinking is the important thing. Being white isn't enough. Being English isn't enough. Being British isn't enough. Know what you are. To read about your own culture is a revolutionary act. Many Western people feel that because it is generally a given in the society and culture that they're in, that variants of our group have committed atrocities, that our civilization is therefore rendered worthless almost in its entirety, except when it apologizes for its right to exist. And if you have a decline and you have a desire to assert yourself to arrest the decline and you have to apologize to yourself about even having the idea of assertion to arrest decline, you're not going to get anywhere, are you? And that's what this weapon is. My view is the following. I'm technically a pagan. And pagans believe that creation and destruction go together. That love is fury. That whatever occurred and whatever occurs, we don't have to apologize. We step over what exists. So if somebody says to you, you are descended from brigands, which is in a sense what that sort of contrary ideology is, you say, well, I'm not going to bother about the diggers and who did what to who. I will have come that. Oh, well, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> That's a bit illiberal. And I'd say, you just say, liberalism is moral syphilis. <laughs> and I'm stepping over it. <laughs> well, I don't like the sound of that. You sound like a bit of a fascist to me. And I'd say, there's nothing wrong with fascism. Nothing wrong with fascism at all. I believe we created a modern world that has been taken away from what it could have been. If people with our sorts of values ruled modernity, everything about this society would be at one level the same and in every other respect completely different. People would still drive, you know, contemporary cars, that still be jets, and there'd still be supercomputers and so on. But the texture and the nature of life would be different in every respect. How so? Firstly, cultures would be monoethnic. Secondly, there would be a respect for the past glories of our civilization. Thirdly, we would not preface every attempt to be strong by saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for what we have done. We're not sorry, we're not sorry, we're not sorry. And we stepped over the prospect of being sorry. We have to understand that belief is not a narrowness. Belief is an understanding that there are truths outside nature and outside the contingent universe that's in front of us that are absolute. The left-wing view that it's all relative and we make it up as we go along is false. There was a thinker who existed two and a half thousand years ago called Heraclitus. And my type of thinking is his linear descendant. He's a pre-Socratic, he's a sophist. He begins right at the beginning of Western thought when we actually write down what we think. He wrote a book on nature, which Aristotle glossed and which his roots survived in fragments. What did he believe? He believed that everything is a form of energy, the fire, that it exists in all forms of organic and inorganic matter. That thought and the sentience of nature is what we are. Nature has become sentient in us which means we must incarnate natural law as a principle of being. It's called becoming in my philosophy. Right-wing ideas aren't just a bit of black waving and baiting a few Muslims. Right-wing ideas are spiritually about inequality. Did you hear that? He says people are unequal. People are unequal. Intelligence is biological. Beauty is biological. Ferocity or a predisposition to it is biological. Intellect is biological. You can do a bit, but you're born to be what you are. And we should celebrate what we were born to be. The left loves equality. He believes we're all the same and we must be treated the same. And they believe that as a morality, as a moral good which will be imposed. 
The right even if you don't want to use that term, stands for nature and for that which is given. What does that mean? It means conflict is natural and good. It means domination is natural and good. It means that what you have to do in order to survive is natural and good. It means that we should not begin every sentence by apologizing for our past or apologizing for who we are.